Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Lou, and thanks so much for stopping by Silver Style Studio. It's been a while since I've had a haircut. It's been a year to be exact and my hair is getting out of control to say the least. As many of my regular viewers know, I have naturally curly hair, a little on the frizzy side. And just lately, even wearing it curly is not an option because there's absolutely no shape left to this hair at all. I have been wearing it blown out and I've been enjoying that, especially during the winter months because there's less humidity in the air, so I'm able to do that. When summer comes around, that's when it starts getting curly and frizzy. Since I haven't had my hair cut in so long, I've been very concerned about the health of my hair. I don't want to use a hairdryer that gets too hot or make my tools too hot so that it fries my hair. And I've been kind of looking at the Dyson hairdryer for the last four years. A friend of mine was using one on a professional job we were doing together and I, I was quite impressed by it. So you know what happens, you start thinking about something, you look at the price because it's expensive, it's $400. I was like, how can I justify $400 for a hairdryer? So let me introduce you to this little baby that I purchased. Look, it's hollow. It's not like any other hairdryer out there. The, the weight is in the handle. Um, it, it's got so many features that I'm going to explain to you about. But the way I justified the price to myself is that Okay, I haven't had a haircut in a year. That must be, what, about $400 right there. And plus I don't get my hair colored. So all, all this kind of justified my buying a Dyson. And I'm very pleased with it, I must say. So let me show you some of the things it came with. It came with uh, three different attachments. There's two nozzles. This one is slightly wider. That's for knocking out most of the moisture before you start working with this very narrow one that is for smaller sections when you really want precise styling. Let me show you the difference in those. That's the wider one, that's the more narrow one, okay? It also comes with a diffuser. I haven't used this yet because like I said, my hair is not really cut for having it curly. But look at this, bam, very impressive, right? The way the attachments just snap on. They snap on and they're not wobbly, it, it's all magnetic. It kind of reminds me of... A, I was going to say this is like the Mercedes-Benz of hair dryers, but it, it's kind of more like a Tesla if you want to use a car analogy because it's kind of futuristic. Look, I could do that all day. Ah, once more. <laughs> Let me show you some of the functions before we move on to a less expensive hair dryer and then the demonstration. So. I was very impressed by this. This is the filter. Usually the filter is on the end of your hairdryer and your, your hair can kind of get caught in it if you're not careful. This pulls down and you clean it and snap it back in place again. So you have to make sure your hand is not over that, by the way, that's why I hold mine here. There's a cold shot button. If you don't know what a cold shot button is, it's um, okay. So when you have heat on your hair, you've been styling it with your brush. It's very important to give it a cold shot to cool off that hair. It's, it's very good for the health of your hair. And also it's going to help keep the bounce in all that hard work that you've been doing. So cold shot button on off switch. This is the heat. And this is the fan speed. So there are three heat settings and there are three speed settings. I wish you could feel this. It, it's so well balanced. It, it, this is going to be great for my arms. 
Anyway, so that's it for this little baby. You'll be seeing me using this later. And next, I'm going to show you an option that is good for those of us that have dodgy shoulders and arms because it can be very tiring when you have both arms above your head. Some people can't even do that. So with this next device, I'm not comparing it to this one because really there is no comparison. So this next hairdryer is going to be really good for those of you who have trouble raising your arms above your head to dry your hair. Okay, so this is an interchangeable hot air brush and this weighs right now about half a pound without the attachments. It does come with about five different attachments. It's from a small company on Amazon called BZ. I've been using this for about two months and it's $55 for lots of stuff. Doesn't snap on quite as well as the Dyson, but it's pretty good. You just press this button and you can change attachments. Now, these do get hot. So if you're changing them while you're doing your hair, you're going to have to wear, oh, wait a minute, it comes with a special glove. I'm not into wearing these protective gloves because I don't know, I find that I just can't work with them because then they grab your hair. So personally, I don't use that, but you can make up your mind about that. This is one brush it comes with. It comes with a large circular brush. This one is rather hairy. I'm sorry, I've been using that. That's the one I use the most, actually. It also comes with a paddle brush, so you can make different shapes on your hair. Now, the reason I do like this is because you can work with it with your arm down. You, you can, depending on the mobility of your shoulder, you can get it, you can reach the top of your head without raising your shoulder much. You can switch arms, so you can give one shoulder a rest. I don't know about you, but I tend to switch arms. Some people can't do that. I'm so clever. Okay. You see, so even when you're getting a top section of hair, your shoulder is still level. So I think a lot of people would be able to use this. The downside is it doesn't have a cold button and the settings are a little bit hard to change as you're blowing out your hair, but I suppose a lot of hair dryers are like that too. Um, but for $55, you can't go that far wrong, can you? And this weighs less than a pound with the attachment. Again, I'm not comparing these hair dryers with each other. I wanted to give you a video on how to blow out your hair because a lot of you were asking me how I get this sleek hairstyle, although it's not looking very sleek today. I'm sorry, I really need that haircut. I'm going in for my haircut next week and I can't wait. So it's not a comparison video. One is going to help you if you have a wonky shoulder. Okay, let's get on with the demonstration. This is my hair freshly shampooed and conditioned. It's been air dried and I didn't add any product to it. So this is kind of how it dries if left to its own devices. I've washed and conditioned my hair. All the products I'm using can be found in the video description below. I'm going to try to keep the products I'm using in this video to a minimum. I have been using Bumble and Bumble Blow Dry Heat Protective Cream. It's for dry and damaged hair. It's $32, which is very expensive. And I'm really going through it a lot because my hair is very dry and porous and it tends to suck up product. And I don't love it. So, to be honest, I've been searching for something different. And for this video, I'm going to try the L'Oreal Blow Dry It Thermal Smoother Cream. It's, um, it has a heat protectant, which is really important, especially as you get older, your hair tends to be very fragile and you just have to baby it a lot more, especially when you're using hot tools. So we'll try this. I'll let you know what I think. And if you have any products, any products with a, like a thermal smoothing cream that you absolutely love, please share it with me and the other viewers. 
Let's talk about fragile hair for a bit. My hair is, um, as I get older, it tends to break more and it doesn't grow as fast. So it's very important to look after the hair that you have and try to do everything you can to not let it break. I don't blow out my hair all the time. I have during the winter months because the air is really dry and it's easy to keep a good blowout in place for a week because my hair is very dry, it doesn't get oily. So I don't have to touch it. Well, I do a, I do a little bit of touching up during the week, but not much. One blowout and I'm done. In the summertime, it's another story. It's very humid out. My hair tends to be very kinky and curly during the humid summer months. So I wash it, I put in some good product, I scrunch it, and I can either diffuse it or I can let it air dry. So as much air drying as you can do, it's better for your hair. So try to be very gentle with your hair. You will see me using some hot tools. I keep my hair dryer at a medium setting, so not super hot. And if I choose to touch up my hair with a straightening iron at the end, it will be on a low setting and it will be moving very quickly. I'm going to use a little bit of the blow dryer, the L'Oreal blow dryer throughout my hair. I just distribute it on my hands first. That's going to make it distribute through my hair smooth. If you just have like a little blob on your hand and then you go in, it's not going to be very even. So try to make sure you get it everywhere. I like how this feels. It, it has a nice uh, slip to it. It's making my hair feel smoother already. And I like to get my little frizzy bits, which is here around my ears. If I didn't do anything to these areas, they would like grow sideways. Okay, I'm using about a dime size blob every time you see me apply a bit more. Make sure you get some in the ends. I'm just going to roughly put this up on my head so I can get to the rest. And then I'm going to section off my hair. But do take your time when you distribute the creams or mousse, whatever you put in your hair. Otherwise, you're going to get some areas that will visibly look like they're missing that cream. When you're finished, you'll get some dry patches and other areas that look like really nice and silky. Let's give it a little comb through. This is a wide tooth comb. And then, we're going to section off pieces. If your hair lacks body, you can use a little bit of mousse. I also like to use some mousse in my cowlick areas. For instance, back here, I have a cowlick and it makes my hair flat at the crown. So I put a little bit of this in the root. All right, so that's a little bit of mousse. This one is uh, Moroccan oil mousse which is like a moisturizing formula. I'm going to start sectioning off my hair now. If you have very thick hair, you might need more sections. If you have thin hair, you don't need quite as many. It will make your hair a lot easier to handle if you do this though. I often find if I want my hair looking extra special and I really want it to stay in place all day, I'll do smaller sections and I'll take my time with it. You can blow dry your hair a bit more roughly, uh, but it won't look quite as styled, which that's okay. It doesn't need to look like 100% fantastic every day. I don't know where my clips are disappearing to. It's like socks in the laundry, you know, where you always lose them. It's the same thing with clips. Maybe there was the socks in some little pocket of the universe, who knows? Okay, one more back here. Okay, and I'll leave these out because um, that's not much hair. Okay, now to start blowing it out with my new Dyson hairdryer.
So I'm going to put this on a medium setting, not too hot. I'm grabbing the first section of my hair and I'm using this strong jet of air to blow my hair onto the brush. It's very important to keep the brush and dryer moving so it's never on the same place for too long. I just want to explain something to you here. You may have seen me uh, moving the nozzle around and many people don't touch the nozzle. First, because it can get quite hot and this one doesn't, which is fantastic. And the reason why it's good to be able to turn the nozzle is because the brush is always at a different angle and you want that nozzle in alignment with your brush. So not like this always like this so that the nozzle the jet of air is chasing your hair around the brush okay so sometimes it's like that if if i'm doing the top of my hair i'm going to turn the nozzle so that it's facing this way it makes it a lot easier for your hand okay let's go my hair should be a little wetter than this for best results but my hair dries really fast because it's so porous. So I am super happy with the results of the Dyson hair dryer and my little cheapy L'Oreal blow dry at thermal smoother cream. This worked much better than my more expensive Bumble and Bumble. So I'm going to stick with this for a while, but I'm going to switch hair dryers for now because this one is going to be a lot easier on your shoulders and arms. And I know many of us have trouble raising our shoulders far above our heads, especially for a long period of time. The great thing about this is that you can do it one-handed and that's what I'm going to show you now. It heats in a different way because the air comes obviously from the brush as opposed to hot air going onto the brush. So it's not quite as smooth as a really good hair dryer like my Dyson, but let's give it a shot. I want to change it to a smaller brush. Now, this gets hot, so you have to be very careful. It actually does come with a, a mitt, a, a glove, I should say. I just used uh, the edge of a towel to protect my hands. So it's pretty easy to change, but you just have to be care of the temperature. Okay, let's do the smaller one because my hair is kind of shorter on top, so that's why I need the smaller brush.
top half was done with the BZ hot airbrush and the lower half of course was done with the Dyson. You don't get quite the smoothness of the hot airbrush but the reason I wanted to show it to you was because it's, it's very light. Let me just grab it. It's less than a pound. So if you have shoulder problems, this might be your answer because some of you I know just can't do the two-handed thing. So if you can't get to a salon and you have to do your own hair, then this is a really good option. We of course haven't put any finishing products in the hair yet. There are a few products that I like. I have been using Bumble and Bumble grooming cream for years on model shoots. Whenever there are those pesky flyaways, I put a little bit in my fingertips. I'll just show you. Just a little bit is all you need. And you can just run that through to smooth out your hair. If you need something even a little heavier than that, Bumble and Bumble make a very good product called uh, Cream Contour and it's thicker and you can put that in the ends or anywhere you need a little extra control. I love this. I'll put this on my hair in a little bit. Not right now though because I want to show you if you're wanting to pull out all the stops then you can't beat a little bit of extra heat. <laughs> I know we're trying to keep away from heat, but this is my straightening iron. This is a Sea Dew straightening iron. I have had this for about 10 years. It's gone all over the place with me. And again, I use it on shoots all the time. It makes your hair super silky. It has a temperature gauge, so I can get it. I'm going to get this at 340, which is like a medium heat. And I'm just going to whisk it through my hair. I'm, I'm not staying in any one place like so and it makes all the difference because sometimes we like a nice bounce that you get from a blow dryer but you might want the ends just a little bit straighter so I'm going to quickly do this. It does make a huge difference so don't do it all the time maybe for when you want to look your very best. There. Great. And another thing I like to do, I have a very inexpensive product for you. If you have porous dry hair, I think you're going to like this product. It's from The Ordinary and it's pure argan oil. It's not like this brand is Moroccan oil and I think they made the argan oil kind of famous and it smells really nice, but it is a strong smell. This one is, has no added perfume. So what you're smelling is the pure argan oil. And I have heard in some reviews that some people don't like it. So I add just a little drop of lavender oil to mine and it has no funny smell at all that way. And what I do is I just rub it through my hair. Again, not if your hair is thin and oily. You don't want to use more oily products. But for hair like mine, this works really well. And I touch up with this all week. Sometimes I massage some into my scalp and my hair is so thirsty that it doesn't even look oily. This is only about $7. There's a link to it in the video description. Oh, and one more thing. I told you that I would show you the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Cream Contour. So that's how much you put on. I wouldn't say a pea size, maybe two peas. And just rub it into your fingertips first. And I'm not looking in a mirror here, so it's a little tricky. I'm doing this by braille. I like to get the parts first that are a little uh, out of control typically. Like around the temples, my hair is has a lot of flyaways. And I think you can see that it puts um, a little bit more texture in the hair. It's not just one dimensional. So it gives it a little bit more dimension and it helps it stay put. This is a nice replacement for hairspray because it's actually good for your hair. And you can do things with it like, look at the difference if I wanted to make it sleek. and I. 
if I wanted to put it behind my ears, make it a bit more of a neater look. Good girl, bad girl. <laughs> I crack me up, sorry about that. And here's the finished result. Let me know what you think. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do a video tutorial showing you how I would uh, refresh this, because as I told you, this will last me a week. But if I wanted to look extra good about three days from now, I'll very often put my jumbo Velcro rollers in all over my head and va -voom, it refreshes the whole look. So stand by for that and I have to do it within the next couple of weeks because I have a hairdressing appointment. My first haircut in a year is coming up in a couple of weeks. So who knows? I don't think I'll go back really short. We'll see. It will definitely be a good trim though. So stay tuned for that. I do hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Bye.